Well, many of us are getting ready to hit the road this week. We may not be thinking about what happens if we get stuck in this latest blast of old man winter. But thinking about that now could save you from hours of grief or even worse. But before you even think about packing those suitcases and that pumpkin pie, you want to make sure your car can handle the drive, which includes checking those tires. On a dime, you take the dime, stick it in your tread depth, and if it's the head is covered, you're more than likely good. So you know, make sure you have windshield wiper fluid. If your wiper blades are streaking, or you know, I would recommend replacing the wiper blades also. Now that you know your car is prepared for its trip, and as you get ready to head out and join the thousands of Montana drivers on the interstate, there are still several things you can do while you pack in preparation for the trip, so that if something does go wrong, you're prepared. The National Weather Service recommends that you pack a kit with several items, which includes, but is not limited to, blankets, coffee cans, high energy food, a small shovel, a pocket knife, candles, and a first aid kit. The list goes on and on, and you can find a full list on our website. Trooper Joshua Getting with the Montana Highway Patrol says that before you head off to see your family, call them and let them know when to expect you. That way, if something does go wrong, friends and family will realize that you were late. A travel plan is definitely a, a great a great idea and uh, can be very valuable in case of a, a welfare check for us. If somebody calls in and we're unable to, to locate and a family member is able to give us a route, then it'll definitely narrow our search and, and allow us to preserve resources for other things that may be going on. Trooper Giddings adds that if you are stuck and unable to communicate with anyone, the best thing you can do is stay warm in your car, turn on your emergency flashers, and try to flag someone down for assistance. If you're out in the middle of nowhere and there's nobody around, I suggest absolutely stay in the vehicle. And that's, that's your best, uh, best protection against the elements. If the snow starts to come or the, or the wind starts to blow, then you'll definitely be the safest there unless you can see a vehicle or see lights 